Here's a problem I ran into while making a repair to a plywood set of stairs. Now this set of stairs was built out of one inch thick plywood and I would imagine it was an exterior grade, which is what you will need to use when replacing any parts to this particular stairway. Now, one of the things I learned, I learned two things here. One is that wood that is in direct contact with other wood could create problems, could trap moisture. The second thing I learned is that we cannot block off the airflow if possible. Now I put this particular block in to prevent the stairs from moving side to side, to try and make the stairs stronger and stabilize the stairway. But in doing so, prevented the air from circulating underneath the stairway. All I would have had to have done was put a smaller board in here. This wouldn't have stabilized the stairs in the same way, but it would have at least allowed the air to flow underneath this area. So you might need to come up with a different idea, maybe put a stabilizing block over here somewhere to where the air can circulate through here. Now, something else that I learned from this particular repair is that lumber in direct contact with other lumber, whether it's horizontal or vertical, could trap moisture. So if you were to say, you know what, I got a great idea. I'm going to put a 2 by 12 in here and I'm going to screw it in from the sides and then put my piece of plywood on top of it. And that might work, but I also think that it could trap moisture in between the two pieces of wood. And if that moisture has no place to go, it's got to absorb into the wood. You get enough moisture, and now you're going to have a problem. And I also think that the same situation can occur on any lumber that's vertical. If you have lumber touching lumber, moisture gets in between it, it's trapped, it has no place to go then it's going to absorb into the lumber. Pretty soon you get enough moisture in the lumber and you're going to be replacing the products. Now here's the situation I ran into. I had two pieces of OSB that were rated, that were exterior grade um, OSB. At least that's what it said on it. And, uh, and I've ran into this situation before, should have known better but I believe the top of it was pounded with the water from the sprinkler regularly. Again, I have no idea um, how often it was watered, but the double layers here will allow moisture to get in here, and it's trapped. It's in the shade. It's how much water is coming in here. Any little gap or crack, and you've got more water coming in there. So, the moral to this story is to use solid lumber or somehow use an adhesive that will connect them to where they will not separate um, or use regular conventional lumber to build the entire stairway. So I also wouldn't suggest doing something like this where, you know, again, these vertical surfaces, if you have water that's, that's seeping into this gap, and it's working its way through here or it gets trapped in here somehow. Maybe it gets trapped because you put a layer of adhesive down here in a couple of rows um, hoping that you would stop it from coming down and now it's being trapped in there. It's coming through the first line of resistance and the second uh, line of course is working and trapping the moisture making the problem even worse. So what did I learn from the video? is that we might need to allow for air to circulate under and around some of these areas that uh, we can't see and uh, aren't concerning ourselves with. And that lumber that is touching other lumber could actually create problems. We think we're using it to make something stronger, but instead we're allowing an area for moisture to accumulate and accelerate the decomposition process of any wood holding our project together.